Hi, I'm Sheree with City Market. Welcome to our 50th anniversary celebration. We're here today with a number of our food vendors, music, art, um, and community. Hi, I'm Todd. I work for City Market too. And yeah, we're having a great time here. We got a beautiful day here down on the waterfront. Um, we're celebrating our members and our community. 50 years of history started in 1973, just as a buying club from, uh, with members in, in town. And wanting to change the way that we eat and the way that we do business and we just have a remarkable history here just excited about it yeah 50 years of food with purpose I'm Peter Clavel I've been a long time member of the of the co-op and I want to wish them a happiest of 50th anniversaries uh, they've a great asset to this community and uh, I was mayor when they came into downtown and at a time when we were a grocery desert with no place to shop downtown. The co-op stepped up and City Market was a result of it and I think they've served this community extremely well and I thank the co-op, its leadership, uh, John and the entire team, uh, the members and the board for their commitment to serve this community. Congratulations and happy anniversary. Hi there, uh, my name is John Tashiro, General Manager at City Market Onion River Co-op. And so here I am uh, at our 50th anniversary celebration. You know, really hard to believe that uh, it's been 50 years since we were first incorporated back in 1973 on September the 5th. Uh, obviously the wonderful support of our members, our community, uh, and our amazing staff and our board have really uh, come to uh, to this. It's just a, an amazing moment. And so we wanted to definitely put on a big party and a real show of gratitude uh, to our community to really thank them for all their support throughout uh, the last 50 years and really looking forward to doing that uh, for many, many years to come. Uh, so uh, just having a great time uh, with food, fun, family and friends and uh, something that uh, we hope that everyone will enjoy. So anyway, thanks so much and um, hope you enjoy the party. So congratulations to City Market Onion River Co-op for 50 years. It's a little hard to believe it's been 50. I've been a member of City Market Onion River Co-op since about 1972 when it was the beginning of the pre-order system where we had about up to a hundred different pre-order groups that would gather its, its money and orders and have mass distributions of big bulk foods that in fact weren't available in Burlington at the time. Um, and then we, uh, at Susan and I met there, and as we developed our family, we left, and the storefront soon op opened a few years after that, and away City Market went. So, happy 50 years. Do you want to say something about the prepaid people? Sure, go ahead. Prepaid? The people that organized those. So, in terms of, in terms of who it is? So, there was a group of people, we call themselves a collective, I can remember a few people, John Mint in particular, uh, was very instrumental in the, veg, the veggie co-op and we would, we would do pre-ordered vegetables every other week and have a distribution and, and again it was all through buying groups. Um, Peter Huber started the fish co-op and it would be frozen fish from, most of this was from Boston. I remember the first time we actually brought yogurt and tofu back from Boston, which was a big hit at the time. Um, hundreds and hundreds of quarts of yogurt and tens of buckets of, of tofu from Chinatown. Um, but, you know, it's been a long time ago now, so <laughs> some of these things people may not understand as the origins of the, how the co-op really started. I, I, I can't think about the beginning of the co-op without uh, mentioning Susan Meacham. Uh, she, along with Larry, were the first two paid employees of the co-op back in the early 70s. Um, Susan was an ins inspiration for me. She was a mother with young children. She drove produce or grain trucks into New York City to pick up loads to bring back for the pre-op group, pre-order groups. And, and she was just a real model for me and for many other women at the time of um, having a family, ha working on something that politically was uh, was valid and important to you. Um, and along with, just a few, mention another few other people that were involved in the beginning. Um, 
Cheryl. Um, Beauchamp Knobs. Beauchamp Knobs uh, worked on a um, on a bread and grains uh, a grains project with Vermont farmers with NOFA. Um, Betsy Stevenson was another person that was there early on. Um, when I started working at the co-op uh, in the mid-70s, I was working with a project that was bringing foods to el um, elderly living centers where we could, they could have a um, co-op experience and bring in vegetables for them. So just working as a collective um, at the time was um, not a well-paying job, but it was exciting and felt important, and it was an incredible group of people to be working with. So let's also remember Gene Bergman, who's a well-known name around town. Uh, he started, he worked with a group of low-income women and started the, the grocery co-op. Packed. Pe packed. People acting for change together. It was on North Street. They had a small storefront, and they would buy uh, groceries, uh, they would buy canned goods from co-op co label in Hanover. It would be really good to remember, uh, remember Br uh, Gene and his efforts in that, in that regard. Larson and building. Oh, and of course, we have to we have to remember Lars, Lars Larson, who built the the frame timber warehouse that uh, that we built at 77 Archibald Street. He um, harvested the trees and he uh, he made the the lumber from his mill and he constructed it. And I'm not sure he ever actually got paid. And he should actually be co-op member number one for sure. <laughs> <laughs> good question. Good, good point. And we were part of the pre-order co-op first with grains and then with uh, vegetables. But then it, um, after we had both left, there was a transition to the store on Archibald Center. And Michelle Lefkowitz was one of the uh, key people involved with that. There was also um, the early Burlington co-op was connected with the New England co-ops and other co-ops in Vermont. So there was a lot of uh, support and energy um, amongst the community then. And the members, early members of the co-op were coming from all sorts of walks of life in Burlington, um, buying groups in the New North End, buying groups among the students. Um, it was a very diverse group of people that were there for finding healthy foods, buying cooperatively, many different motivations, but it all came together in a really exciting way. So, so happy birthday, Onion River Co-op. Woohoo! Uh, my name is Christina Sweet, and I'm currently the board president of City Market Onion River Co-op. I've been a member of the co-op since 2012, but a shopper for far longer, and I joined the board of directors in January of 2020. And today, I'm so excited to be celebrating the co-op's 50th anniversary with all of these folks, members and members of our community here in the south end of Burlington. Um, the co-op is such an important community resource in addition to being an excellent grocery store. We are just celebrated our 20th anniversary as a hybrid co-op selling both natural and conventional foods in downtown Burlington and our fifth year anniversary of the South End store. So we're now a two store co-op. And what I love about being part of the co-op is not just the fact that I can do shop for my groceries and get all of the amazing local products that I would like to have in my kitchen but I also know that I'm giving back to the community the co-op gives back to the community through sponsorships donations our seedling grant programs and through rally for change and this month has been really really important we've rallied for change at the register for flood relief to support organizations that are helping farmers recover from the flooding and severe weather events in July. So it's been a really important resource to so many folks throughout Vermont, and I'm so excited to be a part of the co-op's next 50 years. Hi, it's Linda Ayer. I've been a member of the co-op since 1971, which is when I remember Lars Larson coming through the dorm and saying, there's a co-op starting, you need to buy something. I think we bought peanuts because we didn't know what else to buy. I think lots of us have many stores of soybeans from back in the day. But the story I wanted to tell was from my ordering group in Heinsburg. This woman really, really, really wanted dried pineapples. So she had to make a case for herself there was a minimum order, I think of five pounds for pineapple. 
and she said, you could use it for ring toss or for stacking or for decorating. She got her five pound minimum. Thank you to the co-op and all the people who have made it what it is. So I, uh, my name is Michael Monti. I'm, um, I am a citizen of Burlington. I live in the South End. I lived in the South End for a handful of decades. I was an early co-op member when we first moved here in 1976. And I remember putting together uh, bags of food and boxes to deliver to little groups of folks who would then uh, divide that up again. So early, early adopter of the co-op movement, always felt that the co-op was the right thing to do. Um, over time then, uh, just, just another member, but then in 19, oh, what was it, uh, two, in 2000, I think it was, we began to sort of think about, well, should there be a store for downtown Burlington? And um, I went back to work at the Community and Economic Development Office, in part motivated to do a store um, at City Market, uh, or any store, actually, for the city center of Burlington, which had no downtown market. Um, went through a process and uh, chose City Market, and it really was a transition for the co-op. The co-op had to go from, you know, uh, kale and, fan and fancy organic foods to being serving everyone, uh, meats and, ch and and fish and a range of different kinds of foods. That it was really, really important to many of us in the city that City Market made that change. That was an important change. And that change meant that the store was going to be open to more people than just folks who believed uh, in organic foods. Now, the time has transitioned and many people believe in organic foods and it's become more mainstream. But the important part is that the store had to open up and be um, as many things to as many people as possible and to really serve so many people. I think if you go to the store now downtown, you'll see that. You will see lots of different folks uh, eating drinking, uh, getting folks at the ca getting food at the cafe, and, and shopping. It also serves a lot of college students. I'm really proud, frankly, of uh, the work I have been able to do to support City Market. I'm really proud of City Market and its staff and, uh, and the board uh, who served tirelessly to get this thing done. Um, I'm, uh, I think we have the, the best co-op in the country. I think we have the greatest co-op in the country. and. When people come and see it from other town, other places, they go, cool place, I want to shop here. So I'm really happy. Thank you for this time to be able to say a few words. Hi, I'm Jen Chadburn. I'm here on behalf of Upstate Elevator. We are very excited to be celebrating City Market's 50th anniversary. We're so excited. We've had a partnership with them for years, and we're just so excited for them to be hitting their 50th anniversary out here. It's a beautiful day. Uh, my purpose for being here today is to explain to our clients what our products do. Um, we sell all the products that we have on our table are available at City Market for purchase, but oftentimes I find that people have some questions about what is CBD, what is CBN, and what is CBG. So we're here clarifying all of that. I will quickly say that CBN is excellent for staying asleep, and CBG is an awesome daytime alternative. None of these are psychoactive for just upping your quality of life in this human body that we're in. But we are so grateful, and we hope that you can find our products at City Market. This is Ryan with Jones the Boy. Uh, we've been selling cookies in the pastry case of City Market for the past six plus years. Um, we love City Market. Uh, folks love our cookies and we're down here at the 50th anniversary of City Market celebrating and giving out cookies. Hi, my name is Dan. I work over at Brio Coffee Works. Uh, City Market's been one of our biggest supporters ever since we started a few years ago. And being able to carry our coffees in their stores and share them with the community has been really great for us, and they've been nothing but great supporters. Hello, my name is Nurbu Sherpa. Uh, I run a food supply business called Sherpa Foods. We make and supply Nepalese uh, dumplings, momos. We have Momo sauce, which are Himalayan style hot sauce. We also have vegan chow mein, vegan fried rice. We currently supply our products um, in Vermont, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Maine. Um, yeah, to all the co-ops and stores. So, yep. I and Jake Warshaw own Stewart's Bakery. We've owned it for two and a half years. And what we do is make all natural, mostly European style artisan breads including brioche, some sweetbreads and challah, uh, baguettes, as well as artisan sourdough. 
We are here at City Market, which is one of our very most important customers. Um, we're commercial bakery only, so we sell through Hannaford, City Markets, Healthy Living, some of the local other markets. We sell to a number of um, restaurants and delicatessens. And our whole position here is to provide all natural, all fresh, European style bread. Simple as that. The only deviation we make is biscotti, and this is a very classic, all natural Italian biscotti recipe, crunchy the way it should be. And uh, we're based in Williston, Vermont, um, and we're all local. Thank you. Hi, we're here from City Market today celebrating our 50th anniversary. Today we're making some curried Maple Wind Farm chicken salad. We're young at heart, ginger beer. We're a very young company, very excited to be at City Market. You can find us at the kombucha stand. We're here to share the love and the sweetness with the community who have been very warm and welcoming and responded well to our product. What a fun event. Hi, I'm Rose Gomez. I work for Cabot Creamery. So we're here today sampling a variety of Cabot's cheeses. We're a farmer owned co-op that started originally in Vermont, but has farms all throughout New England and New York. And City Market is just a great partner of ours. Sells a lot of our cheeses. We're very happy to be here today and to be able to give everyone a little taste of some of the world's best cheddar that we've got. We're McKenzie, and we're here showing the McKenzie Switch Brat made with Switchback Ale. Uh, we've been doing business with City Market for years and uh, love be being here and supporting their 50th anniversary. Um, and yeah, getting to, to show this great product to all these great people. Hi there, I'm Kren Barbary, owner of Kren's Bakery, and I'm here sampling our products, the coconut honey macaroons, our best seller at City Market. We're here celebrating City Market's 50th anniversary, which is, City Market's one of our best uh, co-ops that we sell at, meaning we sell a lot of product there and they do awesome display for us.